Hello and welcome to Canada CPA Online Academy, sharing the wisdom. Um, hope you are all feeling ready for the CFE, uh, upcoming CFE May 2021 and you have done your part and I know the feeling won't come that you are ready. It would, You will never feel ready, but, but just believe in yourself that you are ready. You have taken all the efforts you have done done your part and you are ready to to face face the cv so just wanted to give a few pointers uh, before exam during the exam what to do what not to do and um, to just to help you uh, conquer this final battle so first important tip no new topic uh, is just just less than 5 days now so don't there is you will always feel that this is missing i have or not had sufficient time to revise something or have not had a chance to uh, go into depth of some some topic but just just let it go uh, it's not gonna help you if you if right now you're trying to learn something new so don't 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 go don't do that just keep revising whatever you have learned second no new cases solving solving as such like now your brain needs that rest case solving a case is a is a very uh, um, very high pressure on your system on your brain on your focus level so give your brain a rest to relax to refresh to uh, be alive to think uh, on all the all the possibilities when you are in exam scenario. So no new case writings. Uh, just revise uh, whatever. If you have your debrief notes, if you have your uh, like flashcards, or you have some um, points or notes, whatever you have, you do your way to revise things. Just just go through that. Don't overthink. That is that is very important. That is. You know, when when you are thinking right now, you are thinking about the hundred percent of the syllabus, but they're not going to test hundred percent of the things. The things in the exam that are tested, seventy percent of the things are usually repetitive. So you have done it, you have solved it somewhere, in some way or the other. So just just be confident that you are ready to face that. Uh, what I would suggest is. Uh, if you are still not comfortable with finding the relevant IFRS ASP, build that practice just to like go through. Uh, like if you have, if you are solving an AO, you want to find a definition for from that IFRS. Are you able to quickly go to that IFRS? Quickly search the definition, copy paste it. Suppose for fixed asset, are you going able to go to the required section for that AO? So just just practice uh, that a little bit. It helps to uh, visually uh, aid you. It, it it helps in in the exam to visually find. Sometimes it's just difficult to find where that IFRS or ASP is located within within the within the list. So just visually practice that actively because every second not even minute every second you save is going to help you in your uh, time management and case writing to be better now the very important thing on the exam day please be rested be fresh don't don't overdo uh, your studies uh, the previous night for uh, writing in four hour a day to five hour case, your brain needs to be alert, focused, well rested so that it is able to make all the connections and is able to handle that level of stress that is required uh, to fully accomplish the tasks. So if you're if you're if you're uh, not fresh on the exam day, then you're not able to concentrate on that. So focus on. Uh, being being calm, being rested. Another thing is be mentally prepared that it's there is something that is going to be there that you have not seen, you have not practiced. That there is there is always going to be some AO that you have never seen anywhere. You you have not done that. Uh, um, but the mind's respond is like that fight or flight response. You know so. If 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 you if you focus your energy on that one uh, negative um, 
stimulation, then it becomes difficult to handle the rest. So even if, if say, if you, if you start reading the case and you think that this is something that you have never done, just calm your mind. It's okay. I'll, 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 I'll look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll solve it later. Look or solve the rest of the 70 to 80% of the case of the AOs and then come back to it. Don't, don't go into that panic mode of, I just don't know what to do. Oh, this is, this is, I'm going to fail. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Focus on the 70% and you will be through it. Imagine if you are in real scenario, if you're a CPA and you get a problem that you have never, a client explains you something and you have not uh, handled it, how, how would you react? How would you think? What is, what is your common sense or like the logic for that? And apply that logic. Try to find if you have seen something relevant uh, to that issue and uh, bring that in in your exam and move on. Very important thing, time management. You know, you we have been you have been practicing uh, to write the cases uh, in the time like allotted time and things like that. But on the exam day, you people seem to forget all of that training for the time management, and they get deep into AOs. They get uh, trapped into the quant trap. They get trapped into the uh, listing of the qualitative factors and they just want want this one AO to be very perfect and that's what you're going to avoid. So before each day, like say day one, revise what is your strategy for day one? What is your, uh, what have you decided as your time planning? Uh, what is your attack strategy? How are you going to uh, write the situational analysis. Where is your one pager for the uh, case document? Have you memorized the pages where to quickly find the vision, mission, um, or the values on the on the case? So revi just revise your strategy on uh, how you are going to tackle each single day. So day two depth. Uh, how are you going to, going to achieve the depth? Which AOs you are going to focus? What would be uh, your strategy to write uh, day two, day three? What is your uh, time management strategy for day three? So revise uh, mentally, like think it out loud, write it down, whatever your method is, but just revise your strategy each night uh, before the exam and be sure to follow your own strategy. Don't, don't change things uh, on the go or in the exam. And again, time management is a very important factor. Don't go over your allotted time. Um, you're going to be okay. And one last important time, do not discuss. Whatever happens, day one ends, end it there, leave it there, come back home, start preparing for day two. Don't overdo it. Don't go for night. Do not go on WhatsApp, Reddit, or your friends, groups, uh, like chats and things like that. Do not discuss, oh, I wrote this. You will go into that spiral of overthinking, overanalyzing. You don't know what the right answer is. You don't know what the uh, everyone has done. You don't know what CP is expecting from that case. So just leave it at it. Do not analyze. Do not check the answers. Do not discuss the cases. After the exam, you will have plenty of the time after those three days are over. You don't need that additional stress of, oh, I might have done this wrong. He has done this. I have done that. So don't go into that spiral. Save yourself because people are going to talk. People are going to say, discuss and things like that. You keep yourself away from all that noise, all that chatter um, and just focus on your next day. And all the best. And uh, please reach out if you need any last minute advice, if you're struggling with anything. And I wish all the best to all of you. And bye.